Cape Howe is very remote, rugged and isolated and few people ever get to see what's under the water there. One of the things I love about my job is that we get to go there and discover what's under the water in these fantastic ecosystems. I'm Michael, I'm a marine scientist with Parks Victoria and I manage the marine and coastal sciences and programs. So Cape Howe Marine National Park is a really unique and special park to us. It's situated right in the far east of Victoria on the New South Wales border and it's really influenced by processes like the East Australia Current uh, which brings warm water so it's much warmer. We have a lot of species that we find there that you see on the east coast that we don't find in the rest of the state. So it's a really important spot for us to understand climate change because it is influenced by that East Australia Current. So science is so important for how we manage our parks. It forms the best evidence base that we have to make decisions about how we conserve and protect our marine environments. So one of the ways that we're trying to understand the changes that are happening in our park is through a technique known as baited remote underwater videos or BRUV. We do this with our research partners at Deakin University and this is a technique where we drop a camera that's attached to a frame onto the sea floor. It has baits that stick out the front of it and that attracts fish to the camera. We're able to count, identify and measure the size of fish and through that we can track changes to the fish communities over time. So to understand how we respond to climate change, we need to continue to, to do monitoring and research inside our parks. This helps us understand how things are responding to increases in sea surface temperature and how fish and invertebrate populations are changing 